Hey there, John from B2Web. Uh, I'm going to do a very brief overview of the new dynamic um, builder. It's basically a website builder for the Genesis framework. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting. Uh, I'm a, I'm a long-time Genesis user. I love it. Uh, but, you know, admittedly, you don't have as much control as I would like without being an expert coder. So what dynamic does is it turns Genesis framework into pretty much a drag and drop. Uh, website builder that gives you full control uh, with very uh, with without having to know a lot of coding. So uh, I'll start off here with just showing you briefly how you would install this. It's done exactly the same way as installing a child theme. So you first have to have the Genesis framework, which you do have to purchase separately. It's not included. So I have the Genesis uh, framework installed first, and then what you do is you upload and install dynamic theme, just as you would a uh, Genesis child theme. So once that's done, you have all of your dynamic controls are going to be under the Genesis menu on the left here. All right, so what you have, um, if you take a look at the what it does, is because it's basically a blank slate, now you can get dynamic skins and uh, add those um, to give you some design. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if we can um, upload any Genesis child theme designs. I'm optimistic that there's a way to do that and I'll get back to you. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, um, this is basically one layout that I've chosen and really what this does for you is it gives you full control over everything. It's like having a blank canvas using menus to change that. What I've done here is I chose a, um, a one of 49 home page layouts where I have one wide widget zone, two, and then three there are so many options you can do. So now you're not dictated to by the theme, um, basically the layout's dictated by the child themes with your widget zones. You can pretty much create uh, any layout for your homepage. So going back into the back end here, we go into our uh, dynamic design. This is where it's all done. So as you can see up here, we have these menu options. These going into each menu option will uh, then give us all the drag, look at this, the, all the drag and drop options to fully dictate our design. What I'm most excited about this at this stage, uh, I've only had this for less than a day at this point, um, so I'm just using it and playing around with it for a while now, um, is this easy thing. Um, you might overlook this, but this is really cool. Because what this does is it gives you some sort of uh, really quick ways to um, create some quick designs. Now here, here's what I really like about it because uh, again it's all for me was about the home page and having more control. I got a static home page structure which I choose there and then I can choose from all of these different layouts. Look at that and these numbers really refer to the number of widget zones um, that you see so I think the best way to show that is the example. So when you see a two and a three it means you got two widget zones at the top with three underneath that. Um, with a wide left. So there is a system to the what appears to be the madness. Uh, so as you go here, if we had a one, it'd be one widget zone. One and one would be one on top, one on the bottom. One and two would be one on top and two on the bottom and so forth. So there is a, there is a method here. And as you can see, there are a ton of potential options here for your home page. So finally, 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 with the Genesis framework, we can create um, static home pages pretty much any way we like. Uh, I am not going to go through every option here. That's not the point of this video. I want to give you an idea of really the um, amount of uh, flexibility and customization you get with this. And as you can see, this is a, a easy portal where you can quickly set up some of your, your basic settings for your website. Um, for me, I like uh, getting sites up fast. I often will use this easy uh, panel here to get things going quickly. So you can pretty much dictate everything here. Colors, fonts, hyperlink colors, widget areas, footer widget areas. All right. But if you are the type that wants to really delve into and, and design every aspect of your site and create a really, really cool site, you're going to have to go into each one so you can totally adjust the body, the wrap. Finally here with Genesis we're going to have full header control. Again remember with header if you're going to switch to the image, upload a custom image, 
go to your Genesis theme settings and you've got to toggle that switch right here. All right, you want to have image logo, if you use dynamic text, use that. So if you use logo, make sure you set that there and save your changes. So we have full uh, header control. We have full navigation control, how the, how the menus are going to appear. Sub nav, header nav, if you're going to use it. You can dictate how your content's going to appear with background, your H tags, your, your fonts, your links, everything. You can dictate the design of your comments, your sidebars, your footing. This is cool. Changing the widths of your, your various layout sections is really easy. You just adjust your pixel numbers right here so you can do that in a snap rather than digging around in a CSS style sheet hoping you uh, change your, the right numbers and don't screw up the whole layout. Widgets. Full widget control. Everything, borders, width, margins, padding, everything. Very, very simple to do. Your search box, breadcrumbs, taxonomies, author, post nav, image uploader, import, export. So uh, I am waiting to hear whether we can upload in some format Genesis child themes. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. There are dynamic child themes that you can get at. Uh, the dynamic slash catalyst website if you know to uh, basically speed up the whole design process otherwise the one limitation with this is yes you get a blank canvas to use and easily design from the ground up but you get a, a blank canvas which you have to design and it just takes a little bit more time despite how easy it is but i know um you know i'm just one of probably thousands of people who have been waiting for this type of ease for uh, the Genesis framework. I'm surprised Studio Press never came out with it before, but uh, Catalyst has uh, come up with this dynamic website builder and it's fantastic. Other than that, um, you know, other than the design and layouts and so forth, everything else is the same. You're going to have your, your widgets and your menu control. The widgets are easy to dictate here. I have a uh, Remember, I have that layout with one and then two, and so you know I got the home top number one, home middle one and two, and then home bottom one, two, and three. So really simple to use your widget zones. Menus are the same, plugins the same, everything's the same except now you have full control. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, more over the next uh, few weeks, and uh, you know adding to the posts as uh, I learn quite a bit more. But um, you know, definitely read uh, the rest of the post. I uh, have uh, my likes, my dislikes, and, uh, you know, consider this if you want more control with Genesis. This is the answer for now.